Evening guys. Uh, wow, what fantastic weather we're currently having, aren't we? It's, um, I've managed to process almost all the wood for the next, uh, for the following season, which is now out with kind of drying. It's got this amazing aroma of different woods. So I was cutting up some, uh, some cherry tree and uh, some silver birch, some oak, some scotch pine, some uh, fir tree and some poplar and just a whole, some ash, just a whole range of wood and this kind of intoxicating smell and it's just, it's so fantastic. So I was, um, I've had a couple of messages from a couple of guys saying that I haven't put on, I've had several messages in fact, I haven't done a video for the for the 71 which I've advertised on eBay so I thought you know I'll take the chance got a bit of time so I'll show her show her starting and I'll show a couple of cuts as well so any of you know that I'm a I'm a huge Dan Arm fan and so this is the 171 then made from 73 on a couple of incarnations so non chain break and then a chain break version Strangely, my preference is the non braked for a couple of different reasons. But, um, so, 71 cc's, thumper of a piston, 50.8 mil, and for this classification of saw, 71 cc's, a relatively short stroke. And uh, I'm going to share something really in what I hope is interesting about the running characteristics of a couple of the or some of the 71. So I have uh, I have six or seven uh, Danarm 71s and sometimes with their running they're unusual because they are a, a, a relatively big piston and a relatively short stroke for the, for the capacity of this type of engine. They, you know, they would always stand with the Tillotson carb would come with a a rubber diaphragm or a rubber pump, a rubber pump in the carburetor for the for the chamber, and so occasionally on some of these when I've been running them, I find them they they if you know they're obviously they're old girls, so um, sometimes getting the sweet spot right for the for the fueling has been it, it can be a challenge or it can be. It, can seem like it changes with the environment quite quite considerably and so I experimented with a couple of my engines with uh, one the acetate type material which you can get for the for this Tillotson carb and also I bought a couple of high quality Teflon pumps so exactly the same uh, shape as the rubber pump um, as the rubber pump you would get for the carb but in Teflon, and the characteristics would be, I mean, it's, it's resilient to, well, all the different gasolines and, you know, even nitromethane is fantastic, but it's, it's pumping capacity is, is really high. And so it, it outperforms lots of the engines I've previously tried them in. But strangely, when I put the Teflon pump into my first 71, because the engine's short stroke and very, very hard revving, I mean, in comparison to, um, you know, like the, the 480 Huskies, or if you looked at, well, almost any of them are longer stroke engines in this, in this capacity. Um, it really works well with the acetate. The increased pumping ability seems to suit this engine really, really well and makes it I would say perhaps even more responsive and just so anyway as a side issue so I found that the, if you ever are looking at upgrading or changing your pump on your 71 then you might look at getting a high quality Teflon pump mine was one of the UK providers was around nine pounds and I'd say it was an it was an eye-opener just make the, the engine run beautifully so um, there's no stated power, I don't think, for the 71s, but I presume they're between 4 and 5 horsepower. This girl is running one of the very rare um, Danarm solid nose bars, the, the 
The logo is still lovely. Tip symmetry is fantastic. Oregon full chisel chain. Dual felling spikes. Uh, Pro saw. Fully adjustable chain oil. A really good adjustable flow on it as well. Original exhaust. Excellent AV mounts on this saw. And absolutely solid construction. All mag alloy all the way around. Just beautifully built. Beautifully built. And if they're set up correctly, literally kind of perform and can keep up with virtually anything. They're just, on the similar size timber, they're just annihilators. So let me show you how this door runs. Um, make sure that's off. Yeah. So compression. Fantastic, ferocious compression. Um, don't know if I just said, it can run up to, on paper, up to 25 inch bar, but um, tried one with a 28 inch bar, although in fairness it, it wasn't cutting in 28 inch wood, so I guess that would be a, that's a test I, had, I genuinely haven't done, but pulls a 25 inch bar fantastically well, and right, kill switch, throttle lock. <laughs> runs like a devil she's just just an amazing amazing engine an absolute monster and I guess the only if there is any negatives for this saw then it might be the the weight you know this kind of rugged build quality comes at the expense of carrying some extra weight and so it can be perhaps a little tiring in that regard but in terms of satisfaction for cutting well I would say it's well, it still remains today one of my, you know, after approaching 500 saws, this is my, still in my top 10. It's a saw I, I continuously go to and pick up one of my 71s just to remind myself of how ferocious some of the short stroke British engines are. So this one's going up for sale. I put an offer in to a really nice guy um, in Europe who, <laughs> who has a, the elusive 93. I've uh, never had a down on 93. Looks almost identical. Was produced about 10 years later. And so I'm hoping I'm going to have that one soon and I can show that back to back against one of my other 71s. So, so this is a nominal 21 inch bar. I think the bar is stamped 21. Comes out about 20 inches. And I've got some wood set up which is. length so I can show what this thing performs like with it fully sunk in and, and generally as a side as well because you know you, some, you see a few of these coming up for sale and they often have um, they are often plagued with a number of little issues which are they're devils for having coil problem so this had a, a, a really excellent uh, condition although you could hardly tell I mean it's it was it, it looked lovely and clean but could just be cleaned up so it had a, um, a replacement coil which is obviously working really really well and so they're, they're devils for having um, it, intermittent coils and the tank vent is also a devil for starving fuel so if you have one of these and it's got a strange like it seems to start again and it starts to lean out. Naturally you're gonna check the carburetor, but if that carries on, the the strange um, pressure balancing system they use on this engine, they're often they're often a cause of like, so many little niggles of running. Right. Let me show you how this British monster performs. Sure, she was put away sharp. She looks sharp.
realise I didn't sight my first cut, uh, oh, that's heavy, I didn't sight my first cut uh, correctly, but look at that, it's just sublime, it is, um, so she's a spectacular machine, and hopefully, hopefully make a nice addition for one of you guys out there, and if the weight doesn't put somebody off, because you know, I can see that um, when you, you know, as people get older, it's nice to have, to have something, in some respects, nice to have something maybe less aggressive and, but this type of saw can literally cut almost anything, um, almost anything. It's just a ferocious creature. And if you, and if you're using her on timber, relevant for people's uh, home fires, so something maybe uh, 8 inch, some 10 inch. Let me show you what she cuts like on this type of timber. guys so from cutting straight back to uh, a nice steady idle and just just sublime just sublime tools to use she could be someone else mentioned about this about my oil mixtures and so on all my saws now having spoke to a few people which you know were cutting um, with some early steel and early pioneer saws over in Germany in the Black Forest. They've, they're now using on all their saws using just the highest quality fully synthetic at 50 to 1. So I mix all of mine at 50 to 1 plus a, a strict 10%. So my effective mix on every saw now is 45 to 1 apart from some of my war saws. So the ones which are from the 40s, late 40s. Some of those I still have some mineral mixes which I use and I'm very 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 reluctant to even attempt the change on those just because their entire life has been run with something so different. Um, and from this engine though you probably could lean her out more um, if you wanted to make her cut just a fraction quicker she could peak a little bit more uh, but she She's already a ferocious creature, exactly as she is. So throttle lock. Um. <laughs> So if you see any of these for sale and they're, they're, they're intermittent running, then just bear in mind you might be looking at, and the coils do go on them, you know, they, they're they a hard revving engine, maybe a coil. So this one's had, like I say, a replacement coil, new plug, has had a starter rebuild, new fuel pickup, uh, had a replacement tank vent, correct uh, carburetor uh, metering diaphragm, has a Teflon aftermarket, high quality Teflon pump fitted, and both felling spikes are present. On the handles at the top, I've put four 316 stainless steel bolts around. 
and on the side cover I have put hardened 10.8 knurled head steel bolts um, around the side covers and so there she is that's my Danorm 171 SS and she's well beautiful only a real damage on the saw one of the covers for the spring just doesn't do anything just it covers the spring so a cosmetic feature the, the bottom half of that is removed but it's never bothered me I quite like looking at the springs in fact and there's a tiny piece missing on the on the back of the chain chain guard at the back presumably sometime in its life the chain has come off or it's, it's caught on some wood other than that she's she's absolutely gorgeous okay guys and I hope that answers the questions when people said you know about the performance of cutting they really are really are spectacular machines to use okay bye for now guys